Yes, and this one. No, this is Mr. Godfrey, Kevin Godfrey. Yes, and I just want to tell her thanks for what you are trying to do for me and reach out, reach out to, to Jamaica and, and the world. Yeah, just thanks and may everything work out right. And God bless you and keep up the good work. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Monday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, now the morning, my peeps, I have a story for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so now can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of what I'll be speaking about. Now, uh, this morning's story is a little bit out of the norm of on the spot news media, but I do promise you that later on today you will get the vlog with all of the weekends, knockings and clappings. <laughs> yeah, man, may I tell you? But in the morning, my peeps, we have a ray of hope type of story where this man presently on your screen kevin godfrey age 46 of the old arbor community is seeking our help as jamaicans yard and abroad <laughs> yeah man now mr godfrey has been healing for some time he has been suffering from a severe case of colon cancer now, Mr. Godfrey shared with me in private some very disturbing photographs. And why I'm even saying it? Because I would like for the ones and ones them to be like Michelangelo and paint a graphic imagery of what I'm speaking about. Now, in his pubic era, in his private era, he has something serious going on in that era where it is very graphic and very disturbing hence him reaching out to me and asking to hear his story now i'm going to play for you an interview from mr kevin godfrey himself and allow him to explain the extent of his colon cancer as I stated, his entire pubic area is seriously infested, like seriously. However graphic you can paint that in your mind, that is exactly how it is or even worse. So Mr. Kevin Godfrey will be speaking to us via video. So please listen and I will be posting personal information at the end of the video so whoever decides to help which i'm pretty sure that we are all going to be on board and help this man out of this situation will have that necessary information that is needed for you to help so without further ado mr kevin godfrey all right good morning everyone all right so I am going to ask this gentleman I'm here with to state his name. Could you state your full name, please? Could you state your name? Kevin Godfrey. Okay, so we are here today with Kevin Godfrey. How oh, old are you, Mr. Godfrey? Forty-six. Okay, and where do, where are you from? Okay. All right, so Mr. Godfrey, a 46-year-old male, and he's from Old Arbor. Okay, Mr. Godfrey, we would like for you to state your sickness. Your sickness. Yes, what is your sickness? My 
was in school and cancer. Okay. And, and I was diagnosed with it in 2020. 20. Yeah, I was, uh, I was passing my stool. I was passing my bed. Went to the doctor. And um, the doctor gave me a washout. The washout never worked. He tested me. He tested me for my for my prostate. Prostate was alright. He said never do a a colon copy. Colon colonus copy. Yeah, colonus mm -hmm. test. That's when I find out that I was diagnosed with the sickness cancer. And, and from there you now to the hospital. In the reference to the hospital, I went to the KPH. The KPH, the, the KPH, immediately, they were minor operation on me. Theater, and it gives me a bug. And they attach a, a, a bug to me. Covered it up for six months. Six months afterwards, now the seven months, and they like chemo and radiation. And then they take about this bug. And it take me one year. One year was just going to them different, different doctors, approach, different, different doctors, approach. And after all, I start to see some bombs. Yes, afterwards, yes, afterwards, there, yeah. I start to see these bumps. And I keep on telling the doctor about some bumps pushing up to my bottom, something pushing up to my bottom, and I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. And then, call one name, I can't remember it, that they must have something like that. And I got you, I got you, and I do the, the two months of the government team. I put, put me on two months of the government team. Yeah, and after the things that I went back at this, there was no improvement. It was still real, it was still real. The doctor. Of that time, it, it, it left, it was a mass, and I left my mass to stay a street dancer. Left my mass to stay street dancer. Okay. Um, what is the, what's the cost for treatment? What, where are you at now? Are you still doing the treatment with the government, with KPH, or? Are you doing it privately? Well, I finish with the government because the next, the next, the next treatment of the doctor diagnosing the hospital don't have it. So she said, I have to try to get it on my own. See it out there. So when she gave me the prescription, I went out there and I, and I found it. And it was 65000 for for three weeks. And it was a six Six, six surfaces we have to do. Every three weeks, every three, three weeks, after like a, like a get the medication and I go in and I put it in the system, three weeks time, we go back to the doctor, of course, I got that medication again and then they put it in the system. So we are continue for six weeks still. The first week now, the first week when I went and did, after that, I collapsed one. A collapse and no way and then and they don't know what happened to me I was in the bathroom tired himself and then the sign are gone. And then put me the next morning and came to the hospital. And I was admit for two weeks from the fourth of December. Okay. December twenty twenty. 
Okay, Mr. Godfrey. Um, so presently, how often do you go to the doctor? Different, different um, clinic date. I have the chemo, I have the surgical doctor, and I have the radiation. But to give you the radiation, so these, these, these are the three, three main doctors who should have to follow up. So they, they work with one another. So the last time I went to the, 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 the present, no, I'm at the chemo doctor. The, 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 the surgical doctor said there is nothing they can do now. The way it is now is definitely the chemo we need. Because the chemo has to shrink the, 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 the muscle or whatever they call it yeah, before they can operate a surgery. Uh, and then I forgot to uh, go to the radiation. But no, I'm not picking. The yeah, chemo. Yeah. So is it that you're currently receiving chemotherapy? Is it that you're getting chemotherapy now? No, well, well, the doctor, I went to the doctor now. Yesterday, well, that was in, that's on the 9th of February. February 23. Yeah, and she said, due to, she went to give him some paper, I did some tests, the five different tests, and I give her the results. And she said, due to the, the one, so almost a month, we did out because she was in the hospital. So she said, everything she seems alright, but the, 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 the mass was in like 5 millimeter and it ran like 2,000 millimeter now. So she said, I said, it's get enlarged on me. So she said, that, that medication that she diagnosed with and start me with, I need to in space, I'm going to get two, I'm going to get three. So it's like a more expensive. You understand? So from there, I was, I was just you know, go home, check it, check it, you know, check, check it out to see how, if I can really it, really. So just complicated and tight. Okay, so what is, um well, who do you live with? I'm, I'm, I'm with my mom now, my, my father, elder, in the 70s. So, yeah. um, so, what is your financial situation in terms of, you know, financing this chemo that you said is for 65000 and is likely to go up because now the doctor increased the dosage? Um, what is your financial status like? Or what is your financial situation like? Well, I see my financial as down now, but everything has get run down. And you understand? So that's why I'm trying to reach out. Okay. Um, so what do you used to do for work? I was, I was, I was a taxi operator now. Over, over 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. What do you need help with now, Mr. Godfrey? Tell the public, what do you need help with? Well, Jamaica, uh, overseas, uh, worldwide, yeah. right now, I'm just seeking help to, 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 to finance myself with this chemo and the medication to go through it. So the doctor give me, give me a time to start, and the time he can find the money must come into a because it's just, it's just just that is the main thing right now for me to to continue the illness with. Um how has the journey been? Um in terms of your quality of life. I notice you mainly since I'm here you mainly like catch on one side. Why is that so? Yeah. If, you, if you see the picture Go to, go to go to the bombs and 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 and, 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 and the bottom. They are must and must see that swell more, and they have bombs all over there. So they say I'm comfortable. I can sit comfortable after sit just catch on the back and jaw. When if you, even if I'm traveling to the hospital, I have no one can box seat with me. 
one person right, the next two can cross the pin the head can to lean right over. So you can't sit on your bottom none at all. And how um how has the, the, the pain uh, the pain been? Pain is not a pretty pretty sight at all. Day and night. I'll have ear and not out there and it's just I just feel like I'm gonna have a needle, a stick me. That was Mr. Kevin Godfrey outlining his present situation and asking for our help. Now, for those of you out there, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora that can assist him in any form, any way at all, it will be deeply appreciated. On your screen is all the necessary information that you would need to make that donation. For those who do not have the financial ability to help, please still give him a call. Pray for him. Give him a word of encouragement. I gave his sister's number because sometimes Mr. Godfrey is going through excruciating pain and cannot be on the phone. But if he's able to take a phone call, his sister will advise you and provide you with his personal number so you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. So again, any help will be deeply appreciated. <laughs> yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. <laughs> yeah, man.